Now we can get to our Making a Difference report. And the question we posed at the very top of the broadcast, what kind of a business would intentionally give away everything it makes and not keep one cent of profit? Well, that would be Paul Newman's kind of business. If you don't have Paul Newman's face on a product somewhere in your kitchen, then you know somebody who does. He gave us a lot of joy and fine performances in life. And while he's gone now, it's what he is still giving away that is still making news and making a difference. How long can a corporation last when it gives everything away? I mean, I don't know. It's going to be an interesting experiment. Of course, it turned out to be a hugely successful experiment. Americans have been buying up everything with Paul Newman's picture on it for years. And Newman's own, the company he founded, has now surpassed $300 million in charitable giving. That money has made a difference for thousands of charities focusing on kids, education, and nutrition for close to 30 years. It, it all started in Paul Newman's uh, kitchen. He used to make his own salad dressing because he thought store-bought had no taste. And he used to give away a few bottles to friends at Christmas time. That idea exploded. So did the eventual list of products. And among his favorite charities, a landmark he founded, the hole-in-the-wall camps for kids with serious medical conditions. What could be better than to hold your hand out to people who are less fortunate than you are? Uh, that's simply the way I look at it. They started with just 300 campers back in 1988. Hole in the Wall has now helped over 200,000 children and families just by giving them a safe place to be kids and get away from their illnesses for a while. Paul Newman, such a gorgeous human. Last night, Paul Newman's widow, Joanne Woodward, was joined by a number of celebrities and friends gathering to celebrate this $300 million milestone. Paul Newman was a husband and father and friend, a better-than-average-looking race car driver, and he was a great actor who wanted to be remembered as a man who made a difference. That much is assured.